the F to the R to the S to the H to the O to the U to the T. That fresh out. What's up? That's what good. Good. What's good? What's good? JK, what's, what's going down, man? Man, what's goody? I, I swear, I felt like um, Swisher House was on the intro, bro. Like it was, I felt you was doing some work on the intro. I heard like it sound like screws, sound like DJ screws on the intro. <laughs> Salute Part to two. you. Man. If it if it was just a, a a glitch in the matrix, it is what it is. But that shit sound good. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Hey man, <laughs> BYP right. was good, Mike. Hey man, uh, feeling the greatness of being in the midst of you brothers uh, for this bonus episode of the week. You know, hit that uh, subscribe button, that uh, Talk notification bell, and the like buttons, and uh, rock with us on the world's most dangerous podcast, uh, Iceberg. How you living? I'm good, man. Just like I said, just blessed to be with you guys, man. Just, there you this go. album is just, we, we got to go in today, man. We had to do a little special, that little 38 special for y'all, man, on this album, man. On the push shout out to 38 joint. special. Uh, shout out uh, to uh, <laughs> LB the Pie Father, too, mm-hmm. man. Uh, Hip hop VCR, you know, everybody holding us down, man. Uh, for sure, you know how for we sure. do, man. But uh just wanted to come in, man, and just oh, if you welcome back or to the show, Fresh Out Podcast. Now we do a fresh out show on all your social media. We got a lot of guests coming. I don't know if you saw them emails I sent out, uh Bebo. I got some we got some guests coming. Uh oh. We got Uh-oh. some guests coming, man. It may be uh, some problems. They ain't ready, here, are they? Man. So yeah, no, they ready, man. I'm one ready. of them, one of one of uh, well, I haven't confirmed it. One of them is uh, Jay Camp's guy. So, hey man, as long as yeah, one yeah, of my yeah. Paul, so <laughs> Paul, yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah, Paul, the whack one hundreds over here, man. Paul, you ain't no Paul's video. America, Paul's ain't you know? Don't don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's alpha male. On yeah, this end. all day, all day, all day. <laughs> we gotta talk about this. Uh, we gotta talk about this almost dry, man. Uh, yeah. What a title, too. What a title. Man. First, first classic, of all, let's, let's be clear. First, let's be clear. This dude was saying before the album, you know, was getting buzzed that he wasn't going to talk about Coke. He did. Sometimes you can't <laughs> help it. It's almost dry. Sometimes you can't help it. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. almost like somebody was like, what you doing, bro? Like, go back to what you go back to what you do. It's the blueprint. You know um... So we we gonna we gonna get into this album. Like I haven't seen I've seen a few uh reaction and review joints. We we doing something one million percent different over Fresh Out, man. We we gonna we gonna go in track for track. Uh this ain't no uh goofy nerd of the YouTube joint. This is fresh out. We're gonna go in real hip hop style, man, and give y'all the bars, give y'all some beats and give out give you the real opinions, man, from J Camp and Bebo P man on this record, man. Want y'all to chime in too on the comment section. We'll get busy on that comment section, but um, what before we go in, man? What was y'all uh, initial thoughts and prediction before we go in, real quick? J Camp set that off. Yeah, man. I mean, I you know going into it, I mean, I have high expectations for Push. I mean, his last couple of albums, he he's he's given he's given us what we asked for. Um, you know, push gonna come with that 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 street legendary bars. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna give it to you raw and uncut. And I expected nothing less on this album. And he did gave you, did it you, to Did me you think it was gonna be better than Daytona? I did think it was gonna be better than Daytona because mm. of the features that I seen on there. And I'm not talking about just like your little Uzi verse, your Don Tolliver's. I'm talking about like the featured producers mm, uh, okay. getting hove on the album when I seen that early. I just kind of knew, like, you, sometimes you kind of get the feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, you 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 see it, and it's like, okay, this can't be bad. <laughs> you know, how can you fumble the bag on this? So once I got to see that Pharrell um, had his hand in this, his, his paw print was all over this album, uh, Kanye, uh, like I said, Hove had a feature, Cuddy, too. Dude, this is like a perfect mixture, man. Like when you letting that cake bake, so much that, cake that's bake. Bas- that's basically what what Push gave us, man. I was pleased. What about you, Bebo? Like, what was your expectations? Kind of like going into it, and then once you heard it, 
did it kind of meet those? Well, well, first of all, like, yeah. are you a are you a Pusha T? Is Pusha T in your top 15? 10? Put Push is in my top 15, bro. Okay. Bebo P is he in your? As far as like modern day cats or just overall? Eh, modern day. Well, I'm talking modern about modern day. day. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, yeah. let me qualify okay. that. Okay. Okay. Like, we we yeah. ain't talking about, I ain't right. adding like Big Daddy. Yeah, Kane modern. Yeah, modern day. Not, like no hip hop flyers yeah. right now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, okay. without a doubt, he's, 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 he's you know, definitely up there. Um, as far as modern day uh, hip hop artists, and shout out to, and shout out to Los by the way. Los said he Peace loves the album. Los. Just by the way, real, real, real. yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out Los. Los. Yeah, all day. Um, initial expectations. I was I was expecting some heat based off of me too. The hype <laughs> of uh, that that he and his camp were basically putting out there about it being the uh, album of the year type of talk. Um, that's that's heavy, by the way. Too it's, it, it is heavy. Um, it is definitely heavy. Um, couple that with like Jay Camp said, um, you know, like features with you know Jay on there and so forth. Um, yeah, uh, and the McDonald's joint. You know, to be honest, the McDonald's uh, or uh, not the McDonald's, <laughs> the, 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 the filet o fish, bro. The yeah, filet o fish. The hey RV, man, the, the video joint. man of the commercial was just crazy, dude. That was almost like the promo for the album. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just hearing that, I was like, okay, that the singles. Um, uh, you know, and I probably should have said McDonald's. Hey, uh, that that but Diet yeah. Coke in the video going back to the flavoring ear yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that that whole ambiance had me thinking. Okay, I'm not. I'm personally not expecting it to be like a five, just in my own in my own head. But I'm expecting like some absolute heat. So when I heard it, I'm like, yo, it, it's it's definitely a dope album. Um, I'm not gonna give it five. Uh, Ooh. but I definitely oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just predictions right now. Don't don't give too much. Let let him wait right. on that. Let let let, okay. let let the cake bake. All right, so y'all just a, got a little taste of where I'm at, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give a little taste. So okay. So now coming in, we, we, first of all, t- just give give us a scenario real quick, both of y'all, man. Where was y'all at when y'all when y'all put the deck put it in the deck? Well, what's funny is I was actually in between. I was on like kind of like that lunch break ish <laughs> you know friday okay. when i was jamming it while i was working and you know i'm gonna just kind of give like a clue but i listened to that first joint uh brambleton and i had to really pause it because the first of all i had to like get back to work but second of all he was dropping so many gems in there and i had to do some research because he was actually talking about somebody. So on track one, when you actually talking about somebody, somebody, and, and it was it was a personal track. It was what? personal. We go we gonna dig into it. But that was the first joint. So right then, my ears is perked. So when the artist gets your ears perked and they grab your intention on the first song, because that's what the artist should be doing anyway. Because it wasn't an intro, it was like a straight. Ball, just, it was a straight he, song. He, he just straight song. Yeah, yeah. So yeah he went straight. He just, in. He, just, he just went into it. Yeah. But yo, the detail of that, the story, fam, that had me hooked. That's why I said I had to pause everything I was doing with the song. I was like, man, if I if I continue listening to this, I'm not gonna get no work done. So I went ahead and paused it, work. Then I got back to it later on. You know, Friday evening, kind of when I logged off work or whatnot. And I really dove into it. But track one, man, it, it goes from there. It, it's one of those rooter to the tutor albums. But track one, if you paying attention, there's so yeah, many had jewels you locked in, in there. He had you locked in. Mm. Had you locked in. Mm. <laughs> Bebo, where, where was you at? Like, what, what, what was you doing when you was first listening to this? Was you was you in the whip? You have your yeah. headies on? I, I, I want to know where you was at, Bebo, man, when you peeped it. I had the AirPods on at the crib, you know. When I wasn't prepared. I'd be, I'd be all mm-hmm. over. I wasn't prepared when I heard that Brambleton. I was not prepared for Uh-oh. what I was, I was not prepared. Uh-oh. But go ahead, okay. Bebo. No, go no, ahead. no. Like I said, I was at the crib. You know, uh, Iceberg shot us the uh, the album that had dropped at midnight. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I just threw on the AirPods real quick to give it a quick listen, and because um, you listened to it first before anybody did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I, I gave it just kind of a. Uh, a brief overview, a quick, you know, glaze through, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, that's where I was. But then I got more 
uh, into it the following day in the whip, you know, just, you know, making the runs and so forth. So, you know, just absorb having the opportunity to absorb it more. Uh, the following day was where I was to really just encapsulate the uh, more of the ambiance of the album. So um, there you have that. And, and let's be clear. Uh, I'm not a lyricist like that. I love lyrics, but these two gentlemen are wordsmith lyricists, rappers. Like we're not talking about no candy iPhone rap. Ringtone <laughs> stuff like we talking about bars, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah. these gentlemen understand bars, so we're gonna dissect some bars tonight. Yeah. It's not gonna be just some like candy coat review. We're gonna go into some absolutely. bars. So, right. uh, absolutely. I want to play just a little bit real quick. Get out of AT and T. We don't mess with y'all. We mess with Champion. Go to uh, rawthing.com and uh, cop some gear. Um, let me play a little bit of this real quick, man. On on a, on a Brampton joint. They're gonna die. We was out in Brambleton after Pooh got hit. Club entourage in that new drop six. Ice that will sag in these new hot six. Champagne. What was y'all thoughts, mm. man, on, on, on that first like regular? Of course, Jay Kent went in on, on just the beat. Uh, that that joint was uh, Pharrell, of course, Ooh. all day long. The Pharrell went crazy on it. Uh, but what was y'all thoughts, man, just on that first initial? The first thing that got me, obviously, was buying Biggie's but riding on some Tupac shit. I was like, yeah. Hey. Yeah, he did say that. I was Yo. like, he's wilding for that. Well, well, go ahead. And if you was really paying attention, like just America, if you was listening to it, you would notice that he was talking about the old clips manager, which was Anthony yeah. Geezy from that Gonzalez. DJ Vlad interview too. From the yep. DJ Vlad interview, um, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And from what I understand, just from and this is like I remember hearing about this a long time ago, but like Push was hurt about that. Um, yeah, it was. You know, because dude went in on that Vlad interview, but. Like what stood out to me though was when he was like, "Man, uh, it was sad watching dude and Vlad interviews. Really, it's about me. He channeled it, it through you. Had a million answers, didn't have a clue. While Michael kissed Frito and Godfather too. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yep. <laughs> it, right. Like it was so many little small gems in there." Cause I, I I had to go back and listen to it like three times to kind of catch all the, just all the nuances and just all like kind of like the bars that I missed. Cause it, it took me a minute to understand who he was talking about. But when he yeah. said that watching Dude and Vlad interviews, I already knew who he was talking about. And yeah, the way he went out on that man, it, it was real. You know what I'm saying? And a lot, again, people think about Push just dropping like drug references or coke lines he's he's more than that i think he showed you like in this first song he's he, he's more than that like he was talking about some real stuff that bothered him this, this, this is stuff that was bottled up you know what i'm saying so this is it, when you are an actual artist these are the type of things that you like to really absorb when somebody is doing their craft and yeah. I I, pre I appreciated this man, just like from one MC to another, like I really appreciated that. And then him throwing in like the Godfather two reference to kind of bring me to where Crazy. he was feeling. Crazy. Yo, like I had a bump push up <laughs> a little bit on my list. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've okay. always been a push fan. I've always been a push fan. But the fact that he was able to really like storytell like this and this this shows growth and push just it, it set the tone for the album too it set the tone for the album and this is what we've seen cats like Nas do any Nas's intros his first songs always set the tone for his albums push did that with this Pharrell had the crazy production on here as you said Iceberg and push just took it home he took it home man it's like he took that pass from Brady and went 90. He went 95 yards. <laughs> he took a five yard pass and went 95 on this one to pay dirt. You can see, like this thing. I, at first, I was like, why does Jay on the push joint? You know what I'm saying? Like, why mm -hmm. would he just give a random? 
I think he played that album for him. Was like, yo, I gotta get on this. I gotta get on here, dude. Like when I heard that Bramilton, I was like, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I wish I had 16 on this. (laughs) I wish I had just. Bebo, what was your thoughts on 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 just that this first record right here? Uh, I thought that the track was definitely dope. It was um, dope to hear Pharrell because it's been a while since I personally heard. It's been a minute. Production. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, so um, I mean, and instantly, especially on this kind of stuff, like most people be trying to right. get away from this kind of stuff when when they over right. here and friends over here trying to do fashion shows and boots. Oh yeah, yeah, with the big hat. Uh, yeah. that he uses <laughs> with that big moose hat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, peace to Pharrell, man. It was it was peace really good to, to, to hear uh to hear his production again after so long. And I, I'm not saying he didn't do any production since whenever. I it's just been a minute since I personally heard it. So. Um, it was dope to hear that. Um, I, I think Jay Camp did such an awesome job and really just summarizing the uh, the essence of this song and how personal it was to push. Right. Um, and it really just shows, as Jay Camp say, stated and said, his growth, you know, um, uh, as an MC, or at least he it just showed what he expounded upon um musically so to speak in, yep. in his ability to storytell so it was dope to really see that um and he that didn't line. go street with it he didn't pull up on dude right all he right. did was drop he just dropped the bars yeah <laughs> you know yeah saying? and in addition to what jay said about the uh or all right jay camp said about the like why michael kiss fredo and godfather two lines uh i i that stuck out to me along with um um the sliding doors is like the van of the A team, and uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, toward, toward the, after that, uh, but more so, um, more Good so one. than that, though, it was the who knew our Donnie Steve would end up like the I think you the took A&A the A&A words team. out of my mouth, yep. Bebo P. I'll go ahead, then go ahead right after, uh, dude. No, ahead. you killed it. I mean, that's that's literally what stood out to me. He said, Black yeah. Rory, white hood, make it a race thing. Mm-hmm. You know, our dynasty would end up on some Jay and Dane thing, Jay and Dane. Dane thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. it was dope to hear him. He's come not direct. scared to say that type of stuff, man. A lot yeah. of, yeah, uh, again, like how many cats you know besides Nas who's not afraid to like speak that truth you know what i'm saying yeah and who knows and, and and even like and i would even say even like the game has kind of told some of those similar stories as far as like how things unfold and he can kind of like put it in like a put it he can put it in the box to where we can understand it you know what i'm saying right, when you start right. to mention like the the J and the Dane reference. We all we, we understand. We we know it's about some bad business when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like friends turn enemies type type references. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I right. appreciate that he can put that in the box for us to think about that. Because really what he's doing too, he's telling you, he's teaching you a lesson like, look, when you run into people like this, keep keep your third eye. Your third I mean, anytime you make, peel. anytime you make, along with that, with the, you know, any, you know, running with folks, you know, keeping your third eye that Jay Camp just stated. Um, and yeah, Los, that line was crazy. It was really uh, crazy. He, and and crazy. That, that, that's another tag along from what Los was uh, just stating there. When you mention the Godfather reference of Fredo, couple that with the Jay and Dame thing, that's, that's deep. You, you, you got that, that does something that experience did something to him and you know for him to share that was it it was definitely worth the listen um i hope that you know i hope that things can work out in the fashion that it needs to um with that situation but uh i I do appreciate uh pusha being willing to share that experience with the audience uh but musically i mean it was a dope track Uh, i would say that i personally wouldn't have made it the first song uh that's just my personal thing i mean i and maybe it's just because i'm used to like kind of like formats maybe similar to like a stillmatic where something personal like where like ether was like the what right either was first. third song yeah <laughs> no, yeah ether but, was first i believe i think mistaken. it was second or third i okay. think it was. I, I, yeah, I could, I could be wrong so. i could be wrong no 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 I, what, i'm just there was like two or three versions of stillmatic though that came right. out. But this thing, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think, man, I think the whole dynamic was, I think he was trying to get away from the, from the, from the dope joint, and this goes into the second track that we about to talk about, where okay. it's like, nah, man, I mm. can't, I can't, you know what? If 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 this is what I'm gonna do, 
I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna live it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I go hope, in and just talk about this bull. And, and I can appreciate in. that. I, can, I hope we don't. Yeah. I hope we don't get fined and can just allow this hook to ride. This hook on this next joint is so hard, bro. It's one of the best hooks I've heard, like in 2022. Let, so this second joint is called "Let the Smokers Shine the Coops. Yeah. And so I was like, "What's he talking about?" But then I was like, "Hold up!" It basically goes into, "Hey man, if I'm gonna basically just say, hey man, I'm gonna do this life, I'm gonna do it. Let these dope fiends shine the whip. Let them, let them clean. Let my customers shine the Facts. car. There's no and, way I'm going back, man. And, so. and in the hook, he's telling you." <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, the first thing that grabbed me was the cocaine's Dr. Seuss. I said, yeah, that, that's right what here. that's what grabbed me too, Bebo. And then, <laughs> and then the Jim Purdue reference. Jim Purdue, right? I got them, baby. Jim I'm Purdue, Jim Purdue. Purdue. Like, I got these yeah. birds. This dog, so I, got much, these, uh, I got these chickens. I yeah. Jim and that golden like, goose, man. That jack, and, that jack and the beanstalk joint. You know what I'm bro, saying? I got that golden I, goose. Though. I am the chairman of the birdies. Come on now. <laughs> I, 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 I may have to. I may have to say, Bebo. He may have you on that subliminal criminal tip. Yeah, man. He's a soul. <laughs> yeah. I say he might have. He might have surpassed Bebo P as an abstract god. Just oh, for one whatever, hook. Whatever. Whatever. Just, just for one hook. <laughs> Just one, one. <laughs> well, especially with it with that Jim Purdue reference, <laughs> because I had to like think about like, wait a minute. I was down, I had to think about like, man, my grandmother be on them Jim Purdue on that Jim Purdue meat Pauls, super Pauls. Man, <laughs> he, he 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 definitely tried to crown himself by even throwing in the golden goose. That's it, That's right? Terrible. Golden goose. I mean, Jim even Purdue, even the fact that he said the dope game destroyed my youth. Now you, yeah. Kim Jones Dior, my suit, which he, he's Kim Kim Jones is the director of Dior. You know what yep. I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Crazy, man. Crazy. Man, I mean, dope, dope track. I mean, what I, was I, this yeah. as far as the second track? How would you feel in this, Bebo? Uh, on this one? Yeah. Dope track. I mean, I I don't really have any uh, critiques uh, against it at all. I mean, the as we all just indicated, the the chorus and the beginning of the track just really. It, it, with what he says, it, it's funny, but it grabs you. And he's, it yep. sounds like he's solidifying his stance when it comes to, you know, that, that, that birdie rap, you know? So, um, that I, is I another like real joint. This didn't sound like a frail, frail joint either. It didn't. And I, 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 it threw me for a loop. I thought maybe Ye West would have produced it. It sounded like a Ye joint. joint. Yeah. It, 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 it sounded like clips. Yeah. It sounded like a classic yeah. clips joint, man. Yeah. Especially when I heard that, that uh, breakdown that breakdown then he was like the first 48's the clue your yeah. jail cells made for two, for two. AMG's right. on auto cruise <laughs> the wrist singing auto tune like the way he was talking over that beat bro he was the wrist singing like, auto tune man come on man the, the way that he went throughout this whole song it was it was basically he 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 shortened each bar dang near he did but he still hit you as hard as he could with uh some of the lines that he was he you did. know giving you now don't get me wrong you know i i think that, that this one was a little bit more simplistic in oh, some it was, ways it was but but it, mean, but it was but it was still masterful on uh the whole ambiance again the beat you know not even sounding like a neptune's pharrell type of joint mm -mm. um hey hey it's the, different the, man the, ambience, you know, the, the delivery i mean everything is and yeah, i'll be honest up. too bebo i think like sometimes when i hear like dope rappers like rap like that and that type of delivery i almost feel like it's a slap in the face to like bumblegum rappers Cause that Fact. is their delivery every single time. Right, he's point. like, you know what? I'm about to just spit these bars with this same delivery that y'all using, and I'm about to teach you all at the same time. And Plus, shout, he came, shout out, shout out, the nightmare man. Like he, he's right, man. He's yep. been, he's been one, almost one of my. He, he showed from from what you said, Bebo. Excuse me, Jay. From that commercial, man. He's who else has been dropping bars since that fifth fr fr fillet joint. Oh, I mean, like he's been man. killing. Them, I mean, you you have you still have a few cats that's been dropping some bars, but uh, you, you, like you do, 
No, you definitely do. Uh, but you know a lot, like we said, like with Royce back in the day, which Royce is putting out great albums now. But you remember when Royce was first putting oh, out yeah. albums? Oh yeah, I remember. Clear he, he couldn't. He couldn't put an album together. Yeah, man, he was missing he was, the mark. Yeah, he was missing the mark. And yep. as he grew as an artist, but still kept that same level of MCing, he was able to put them put them albums out. But man, push. He's in his bag, as 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 Bruce said, as Nightmare said, man. I mean, he's in his bag right now, bro. I mean, I, this, I, this dude I, said bird you. feathers that made me a chief. Like <laughs> Indians wearing like, the yeah. feathers. So yeah. it's like <laughs> bird feathers made me a chief. He's like, one of those, he's oh, one of man. those rappers when you go back and listen to it a second or third time, you you find more and more clues. And that's yeah. when you that's that's when you know the growth of push. As he's gone through the years, he's now like a season. He's a season MC. Like he, it's easy now for him. Yep. You know what is. I'm saying? Like Nas said, he's in rare form. Like Push yeah. is in rare form right now. This is yeah. rare form Push we get. Yeah, he is. That's why. So that's why it's almost dry. <laughs> you know, because it's, he's in rare. He's still drippy wet, <laughs> but he's seasoned. Yeah, you know drippy, what I'm saying? Oh, Let's go man. to this uh, this third track, man. At uh, Dreaming of the Past, man. With with Ye on it, man. Stop. <laughs> As L would say. Stop. <laughs> Keep niggas on the bikes like Amlin though. That first, <laughs> that first bar, that bruh, you niggas ain't flexing, you cramping. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop. My weight man. keeping Stop. niggas on bikes like Amblin. Come on. <laughs> push. Rare form. Yeah. yeah. Rare you holding top five, I only see top me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. This, like this thing, man. Like, who's been? Nobody's been on samples like that for a minute, man. Like, cats almost like ran away from samples like that, right? Man. And I think Jay Camp said this in the group chat. It's almost like he handpicked the beats from like Ye's old stash, oh, you from, know, like, he the did. ASR Ye's camp. old bag. Yeah. This is Ye's old bag beats right here. This joint definitely is. Um, it's, a vintage, it's vintage Ye. This is a it's vintage, definitely vintage Ye, Ye, Ye beat. Yep, I don't think we heard this this version of Yay in a while, production wise. Um, this was the joint that really, really, really grabbed me uh, in the beginning. In the beginning, mm -hmm. I mean, not to discredit the uh, past two we just mentioned. It's just this one when the beat came on, it's like automatically Yay. Dude, here, automatically here instead of like yeah. that drum line that like Grambling died, like yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> but the fact that they had the, the that Donny Hathaway. That dog and that and that hook too, man. That that grabbed my attention too, like off, like yeah. off the rip. Yeah, yeah. He killed. He killed a lot of performers of this lows. Real talk. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah off the dribble. Off the dribble. Oh yeah. I mean, oh my god. I mean that that joint like like that was okay. I heard the first record, second record. He's just spitting, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And then this one comes in with the sample and that classic little piano with it. I said. Huff and puff in the club, so I gotta be Sean. I said this dude right here. I mean, and of course, well, everybody's heard. Been, um, and, and shout out All to right. Ye too, because Ye was yeah. a monster on here as well. Like, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, 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 spit a little bit on here, it's, especially when he said, I used to watch the Fresh Prince and prayed the house would be mine. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way, Ye. I felt the same way. Duh. Yeah. He said, "Came a minister in my prime, so I gotta be shine." I like, stop, <laughs> yay, stop, stop with that, stop it. Now speaking of stop, you already, y'all already know he had to slide something in there about the personal stuff. Uh, oh, you know, he did. come on, line. yeah, you know. But this thing, man, it, 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 anybody daddy's... going through, anybody going through a breakup, man. This, hey, it's good. Sometimes it's good for 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not knocking. Craft, at it. You know I'm what what just saying, y'all know he had to slide it in. Yeah, when daddy's yeah. not home, the family's in danger. I said, man, I, there it is. But yeah, I mean, man. it was it was a great feature though. You know, like 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 oh, uh, Jay said, he kind of went in, did his bars, put some personal stuff in there, so you know it's new. So you know it's not some old record from two years ago. Like it's new. So I like, yep. it. you know, what I'm saying like he killed that. Oh, um, yeah. of course we know about the neck and wrist. 
So we're just going to go into that. Uh, Just so you remember, I think this is a uh, camp. This is you, right? This is your, one of your joints. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite joint on the album. Dude, mm. dude, Mm-mm-mm. dude. What's your thought? What's what's just your thoughts on that beat? Just like no, mm. no drums. Just do 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 do. That's why I said this will remind me of. And like, then just wrap it up, man. Come on, man. It reminded me of that uh, some of them songs on, on that Nasir album. Like that's yeah. why, I, like when I first heard this, I was like, man, I wish Nas was on it. Even yeah. though Push Push killed it. I'm not yeah. trying to say that this, this ain't like a push on song because it is. It's like I wanted to hear like Nas come with some with some gems too behind it. But this is my favorite joint. I, I, and on the going song. off what uh the groove. The yeah, groove well, yeah, was, but also even what um what Nightmare is saying, I don't think nobody wants to he's almost like bust around. Nobody wants to go against pushing no verses, man. Like no, it's it's no, gonna be a problem. Uh, don't yeah. let this dude freestyle yeah. over what, what like Jada Kiss was doing, man. Like you don't want push doing that. You, no. you don't, you don't want to go no, against that. You, you really no. don't. Because nobody can talk that talk like he do, in my opinion, man. Uh, right. What, what, that, was, your, that, what uh, was your thoughts on this one, uh, Bebo? I mean, <laughs> you seen your rappers apply for the stimulus. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that baby blue. Woo. Um, th- this one. <sighs> Man, and like Lo said, that bass line, ugh. the bass line, uh, the, the simplicity of the beat, dope. Um, sometimes less is more, sometimes yeah, less yeah. is more, less yeah, is yeah. Better. Sometimes less is more, and uh, th- this was this was a dope one. I mean, you already know he was on his uh, his dope rap as usual, man. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, the Mitch by Mitch and all that jazz, <laughs> and the uh, uh, she just spent millions on the finishes, I think. The was brick by brick, line. we keep we open kept dealerships. open dealerships, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I have to agree with Jay Camp, uh, once again. This does sound like a joint that Nas should have been on. Bruh. He, he should have had a cool 16 on the here. first a album cool. to have Jay and Nas on it together, but on this, a separate this, track. This one, this, in fact, it shouldn't even just wow. been Nas. This should this should have uh this should have had uh Nas Escobar on this one. Yeah, it was, this definitely yeah, Esco. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't this, know this, about this, that. I don't the Seagull. I, I, well, this uh, thing, if, if Seagull still had his voice, if yeah. he still had it, I, I yeah. I'm right there with you, Nightmare. I'm right there yeah. with you, bro. Yeah, right but, there with you. Yeah. But what about right yourself, Iceberg? This record to me, Push was versus like, Styles P would be crazy though. Yeah, it would. <laughs> it would be crazy. This record right here, man, yeah. was like masterful because normally, like I said, people trying to, hey man, I need some drums. I need a Timberland beat. I need this. I mean, the, just for the dude to rock over. This is like some old South Beach, chilling, sipping some coconut water out the coconut with the straw. Just sitting back, just chilling, man, looking at your empire type stuff. This is this is soundtrack music, man. Yeah, it's soundtrack music. It's different, dude. Yeah. Like anybody else would say, hey man, I need if I get a yay record, I need this, this, and this, and this, and I need to pay for this. Nigga, just give me the sample and let me spit. I mean, the, my Joker smile, you know who the villain is. Yeah, you give this somebody is... a baseline like that mm. and a sample. <laughs> Yo, man, that's all man. you need. Facts, no, though, like, like I said, this song was the Facts epitome of the table. album, man. Where like it was, it was, it was stripped down, and you just enjoyed the bars. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. when, yeah. when have you heard an album where yeah. the beat stripped down and you can just hear somebody spit? And and that's and one of the like ones you can ride to. Yeah, it was, like, and that's one of the ones you can put your windows down and ride to. You know what I'm saying? If you right, partake, right. If, if you partake. <laughs> Pause. Roll your windows, roll your windows down. <laughs> just coming off a of 420. It, it, it ride it. Right. You just come out yeah. 420 and you ride to that one. That's where yeah. you ride to. Yeah. No, facts, man. Like I said, man, it it, it wasn't the Tim Land beats. It wasn't like party records. This is straight go to the gym, work out. This is, you know. <sighs> It was just some crazy records, man. Like the records are just that was the epitome of the album. Of course, you had the Diet Coke, 
Uh, let's go into that little uh rock and roll joint with Kid Cudi, man. Which I thought Kid Cudi was gonna be boo boo on it. He kind of killed it. Oh, C- uh, Cudi murdered this, bro. Yeah, he did his thing. <laughs> Come on, push. Come on, push. What's your thoughts on that one, man? <sighs> Yo, I felt this was probably his best verse on the album, Pushes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, I, can, I can see that. From delivery just to overall bars bro this is like the best verse that he had on here that i felt like there was no one else who was going to come on this track and who was going to outshine him like he even though cuddy like low said cuddy snapped but push push on this though (laughs) i I almost wish push was last i wish they would have put push last on him this should have been his red man slash buster moment (laughs) where you put him last and let him just kill yeah. You know what I'm saying? I felt that way when I it's not to say that I heard pushing and I didn't want to hear nobody else. I mean, Kanye and Cuddy still did their thing, but man, push up. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and now that I'm hearing this again, like some of the ball, I'm like, I I, now it, it, I but it's, it's like it's what magnified. Say, like it makes you want to grab that pen. Yeah. Uh, Facts. Makes it jump to or it makes, you, it makes some, old, some old dope dealers want to get back in the game. <laughs> like, hey, but we talked uh, about that in the group chat. I said, I said, this Pusher album is going to make some of these old cats get back in the lab. Yeah. I said that. Yeah. I said I can that. See that. I mean, like you said, bro, uh, or indicated, man, the bars um, on this joint throughout the album is probably one of the better verses, you know, or better. Uh, lyrics that he spit you know what i'm it, saying it throughout is. the whole on project a, on the album yeah. uh i mean shoot man like i said uh just a few seconds ago he said something about making the jump to each levels and uh super mario i'm like oh okay <laughs> so, now dad yeah, uh, yeah. Hold on, yeah. Right now, Dad, why was it 3.5 what what was it missing oh yeah in man your opinion, uh, man what was shoot it, what shoot, was shoot it your thoughts bro yeah, yeah. yeah. say that say that again yeah. brother what was that no uh, no uh, uh dad said that he, he yeah, gave it a 3.5 out of five what was it missing in your opinion to maybe get it to the five, man? What what were you like and what were you not liking on it? And see, I gave it a four out of five when I first heard it. I gave it I gave it a four, but I listened to it, man. I was like, in my opinion, it's a five. I can see I can see a three point five. Okay, okay, I see. He's saying production wise. So okay. this is the thing: if you're not into the Yay and Pharrell, maybe I can see that. I can, I can see, see that. that. I can see now, that. Now, what was you thinking on the bars, though? You know, and, and, and my, what was on the bars, man? So, you know, I won't know the bars, but um, like I said, I, I like the production. I, I can see, you know, there's some there's some differences if you if you don't like the stripped down swag a little bit. Uh, I, I agree with that, Jay. I agree yeah, with Jay that. Yeah, Black I, Thought should have been Thought. Uh, Hear Me Clearly. Nah, I should have been on that Dreaming of the Past. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah, you spitting too. facts. You spitting yeah. facts. We, and we, we ain't got that to that point yet, but yeah. you spitting facts, bro. You spitting facts. It, it, it agree, like, yeah. The bars of fire, man. Like it's it's crazy, man. It, it, it's crazy, man. Um, I I thought the album was just crazy, and especially going into the rock and roll joint, and then you getting into the end to the second half of the album after uh, the Diet Coke. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It really started like okay, they, they it's Me putting too, it together. Loves. I get I get what he's trying to do on the record. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, let, let's see. What, what was your let's go into that uh, call my bluff joint real quick. Let's, let's play that real quick. The pull ups like a FedEx truck. I can send some niggas around there right now. I can send some niggas around there right now. Yo, I just feel like I, I wish this, this to me sounds so clips. Yeah, I, just, oh, yeah. I wish, clips I wish this like yeah. old no malice. Yeah, was yeah. on here. And yeah, give me yeah. like 16 from Kendrick, and I'm good with this song. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm oh, yeah. good with this one. You give me 16 from No Malice and Kendrick and put a bow on it. But this yeah. song was dope, though. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I have no qualms with this joint. 
at all. No qualms with it. Now, I, I didn't feel like this was his best lyrically, but like Lo said, that hook was dumb. The hook was dumb. Like the oh, hook yeah. had me going. And I would yeah. say, like, Push is one of them dudes. He comes out with his songs with the hooks first. And I appreciate that because that's old school too. Right, yeah. Th- that's that's old school. But man, I, I wish no malice. Because this this had clips. This was a clips. Clips are, this is this is classic 808 for real. This is classic 808 for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like this is Neptunes mm-hmm. and Clips classic. That's what this should have been. You know, my opinion. What say you, Bebo? Exactly what you said. I mean, it's it it just took you back to the, the Clips era. You know what I'm saying? The sonically, um, mm-hmm. you know, lyrically, he was just kind of he was just kind of. Uh, you indicated this too, you know, he wasn't necessarily, he wasn't necessarily going in. He was kind of, he was just kind of doing what he does. You he know was grooving. He, he was in, he was in the groove. He was in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rest, yeah. Just in the pocket. Just That's like perfect. Comic-Con. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. <laughs> like when you say Buffalo Shrimps from Maui, Maz, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, you in the pocket, you know what I'm saying? You man, in the pocket, man. something as simple as, well, he said something about the pull-up being like a FedEx truck. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was in the hook. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm liking is this, you know. It had, it had a little, it had like that slow lottie dotty feel, you know. What yeah, I'm that, there you go, yeah, there you go. Yeah, slow lottie dotty feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and he was still lyrical to some degree, but he was. not like the not like some of the other songs, and not he purposely wasn't at his full potential on nah, this. No, I, I think this, that, this, that, this, this is just a this, this is in a ride joint. This is, this is yeah, a ride, this ride joint. joint. This yeah, that's some, why this I said summertime like summertime drop top joint, man. Yeah, that's why I would love to hear somebody like Kendrick just go bananas. On here now, he probably you know wouldn't have saying? done that though, because you already know Kendrick would have definitely let loose on something. Oh, like he would have obliterated this. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I can see. I can even see this joint kind of having a beat flip and then somebody coming in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I can see, I can that. see that too. I can see that too. Man, it has clips on this one all day. All but this, day. but this, this this is a this is definitely a joint you ride out to too, man. Oh this yeah, like, all day. You yeah, pull, you, day. you pulling out the driveway with this one. Yeah, man. Man. It, it, it's it's 420 vibes on that one. Yeah, with one arm, absolutely. With one arm pulling out the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one I, I didn't know about. With man, that one man, a little Uzi Vert joint, man. I didn't know about this one. That's why I had to give it a four. <laughs> <laughs> what the hook was called? I, the hook was nice though. Tell me what I gotta do. Pull up in a bucket crew. One for me and one for you. Yeah, like with the motherfucker roof. That's what you think on that one, Bebo? What would you what would you think on that one, man? This was my least favorite. Ooh, okay, it's my okay. least favorite, too. Okay. 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 Now this yeah. to me, I think this was his remember how Nas did the spicy joint, right? Yeah. You kind of keep it kind of young on the record. Yeah, right? and that's exactly I think this I- was the young record. Right. I mean, he, yep, exactly. This was his record where he said, and right, Los, he, he missed on yeah, this he, one. Yeah, he, he missed on this one. But see, yeah. I, I, I thought he could have done the young record, but done it a little bit differently. And he, like, and he could have, and he could have pulled it off too better than this. I do think. Uh, exactly. That. And I, and I don't mind having like Don Tolliver do the hook. Yeah. I don't mind that no, at all. No, no. I just no, think, that, but I, I, I think yeah. you got to let Don shine on. A different BPM, like I, 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 this ain't like a dying BPM to me, so I think yeah. it was like a miss all around, which is why I gave it the four out of five. But this, this, this was a, this was a miss <laughs> for me. Yeah. What? Well, wait, let me ask you this then. I didn't say I didn't. It's, it's not that I didn't like the song. Like it, it, it's a. I can listen to it. It's listenable. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I would, I, I would typically skip this one. Well, I think this was was more. I think this was more the whip joint. Like you just play this in the whip. You know what I'm saying? This this in for the bars. You know, in my opinion. So what gives it a four though? What gives it a four if it's a miss? For me, this song. Yeah. (laughs) Like I mean, but but, but you said the beat, the production, the the bars. Yeah. Like like, well, okay. So when I say four, I'm talking like beat, bars, production. Well, production is beat. I should say production, bars, flow originality is what kind of goes into a four for me okay this this scrape it off removes it for being like a 4.5 for me like yeah. a four and a half micer well i guess i, I asked because take... a four is still pretty solid it's no no a four is a so. to me a four is a damn yeah. good album like 
You know what I'm saying? A four is a great album. A four. Oh, is something especially, to I mean, me. especially nowadays, you don't get you don't get like you don't get records exactly. up there, in my opinion. Oh, to you me, said album. It, okay, I thought you were talking about the song. No, 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 not not the song, like the album to me. Oh, okay, four. like okay, yeah. I to me, if if your song. album is a four, that's a road but, trip album for me. Like, and I'm, Los I'm, is I'm right on this on record. Pushes verse pretty much brought it back to hip hop. It did, it did, it did. But that's the problem, and that's the problem, which is why I had to knock that half. <laughs> off yeah. the, the entire project to me because but of this. This thing though, this I get it for the whole. No, like, I, I, what, I understand uh, it. What Nightmare was saying, the whole decent 20, 2022 swag. I, I get it. I get it too. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad he did it at all. It's not no, what I asked you for. You could have done better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not what I. It's not what I want or what I personally need. Yeah. But right. I, I get why he. I did get it. why you threw it on there. It, it's it's a swag. You need a swaggy record. Stop, 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 stop. Yo, yeah. left my elbow in the pot. I love, I love Vince, Vince Carter. Carter. That I'm, right I'm there. Already. That's the first bar I put in the group chat. I said, I'm done. I was like, oh man, you know, it's cool. And I heard that. I said, this dude said he put his. What the That's when you need that, like, that DJ drama, like spinning that back to the beginning. <laughs> That's where you gotta you gotta spin that back to the beginning of the verse and let that ride again, bro. Yo, I mean, should anything be said? I mean, nah. after hearing this, those snippets. Wh- yeah, he's 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 barring out. That's definitely one of the best tracks on the album, <laughs> yeah, hands down. He, he's Dude. barring out. He's ha- barring hands out down. On that one. Absolutely. He's out. The beat is just absolutely bananas. Beat that dumb. verse, absolutely bananas. I mean. How could, <laughs> it's heat, it's fire. Yeah. Like Jimmy hey, Butler. Book, book the, book the, book <laughs> the beast. Like Jimmy hey, Butler, man, yeah, shout out to Nightmare. to you on that one, man. Yeah. I know Ye, Ye probably put a little little mix on there and put his name on there, but Boy. hey, Bugs the Beast? Man. That beat is Whoever crazy. did them snares, though, salute to the snare man. The <laughs> snare man. Snares. It's my snare. <laughs> them <laughs> snares is stupid in there. Oof, wow. Yeah, the yeah, Akon line yeah, too. Line Los, I agree with that. Yeah, and then yeah. yeah, if you if you don't if you're not careful, you will miss what he meant by that. So yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it that's was, why it was, I said it's it's a couple of them joints. You might have yeah. to run it back a couple of times. To, yeah. To, to this is the, the album you had to run it back to, like the, like the first for the first listen. You know, okay, I'm feeling the vibe. I'm getting a view of the album, but you had to go back on them bars though. You had, you had to go to. back. And then, honestly, this is one of the records. You got to go to Genius.com. Shout out to them for, for the free promo. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to go to Genius, man, to get the to, to get the lyrics, man. You got to. Man. Seriously. So. Sheesh. I mean, heat. Heat, folks. Heat. <laughs> heat. Jimmy Buck. Was that the best, was like that the best song on the album, in your opinion? Now, I still like, just so you remember, I'm, I'm going to be clear on that. But it's definitely up there for me. Like it's it's right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's at the top. I mean, we're splitting hairs. I mean, top. at least for me personally, I just think the just so you remember beat is just so crazy, and the and the bars, the way he was he was coming on that song. But hear me clearly too. Oh. In the same vein, <laughs> the same vein is the he killed that man. Like I mean, you just got to salute push for just barring out the way he was like. To where I had to stop it. Like I said, we, we needed a DJ to run it back at the top. Here, like, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Run it back. And the gunshot. Boom, 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 Right, right. The little horn. Right, the horn in there. Man. Yeah. That was, to me, like, like you playing the you playing the whip, man. It's going to make you make you speed up a little bit. Uh, But that record was just crazy. Um. I think that was Se- a video too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second to last joint, man, is that open air, man. Selling cocaine in the open air. The boats is there. The notes is Ooh. there. Yeah, the ropes is there. I need a Jada. Ain't no Tonys in my circle. Be close to tear. Stop. Crack commandments. Yeah. Ain't all through your body like folding chairs. Sit down. Stop. 
<laughs> ah, the delivery. Right. This is the definitely bars. another one of those tracks that I think is one of the best on the album. Yes. Yes. Uh, for the pretty much the same reason or Woo. very similar reason as the prior track, hear me clearly. Can we get uh, Jada on a remix of this? Can we can we get Jada? Jada would be a night, him or Styles, yeah. It, it don't matter which one. Or any of the L locks, really. Just put yeah. LOX, just put LOX on a remix of this. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sheik, man. He could he would <laughs> right. Sheik would burn Macarilla. this too. Sheik yeah. would blaze this up oh, too yeah. one, one time. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What y'all think on the beat for the because this is straight for real 808. Like I said, this is some this is clips it, it, type again, record, man. This was like clips 1.5. Yeah, <laughs> it's what it this was. was. This definitely yeah. was uh one of if not my favorite, no, well, at least one of my favorite. Uh it's in my top three. One on, of on yeah, definitely one of my favorite joints overall, and definitely one of my favorite Neptune slash Pharrell beats on mm. on here on here mm -hmm. on here again. Because like we said, sometimes simple, less is more. You don't need yeah. a whole lot of stuff going on. When you when you can bar when you when you have bars, you don't need the track mm. to really help you that much. No, when you right. got somebody who can just dumb out like that, just let him go. Yeah. But that's but Pharrell understands that he's been working with pushes for so so many years. That's the chemistry that him and Pharrell have. So if Pharrell don't have to do throw a whole bunch, dee -dee 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 -dee, he don't have to throw a whole yeah. bunch of that in there. Shout out right. to Ability. He don't need them hi hats in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them, them, them. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? What was dope was I, I do like how that you heard like this little phasey chorusy sound came mm -hmm. in on Push's second verse. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like it was kind of like a slight build up. If oh yeah, like so yeah. The way he was barring out, you almost had to build it up to, to the next. Yeah, you know what yep, I'm saying. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what's Jay saying? They should have never made "Hear Me Clearly" or "Neck and Wrist" a single. They should have left Diet Coke a single and just surprise okay. us with everything else. It makes I, the best songs. I, I see. I see what he's saying. I see, I see what he's saying. I do too. I agree. I it's agree. almost like you putting all your heat out yeah. first, and you kind of want to like build mm -hmm. us up and get mm -hmm. us prepared. For that flame, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I agree. Low yeah. stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Ah. He said, I hate high hats. That means you say you hate Manny Fresh. Come on, yeah, fam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Manny Fresh, Shane. Um, no, nah, but this open air joint was crazy, man. Uh, oh. the million dollar dog chain, man. I'm plucking you fleas, like. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, man. Like, uh, and I think it was a great time for this album to drop, man, because mm -hmm. you know, with all the candy TikTok songs and all that stuff that's been coming out, man, from hip hop, uh, even though it's you know, it's it's coke talk, man, it's it's almost needed in a, in a way, man, for real. Like, this, and then also, he's mixing in, you know, like who else can who else can make a record like this. We're having, like you said, J. Kim, the personal relationship with Pharrell already, because Pharrell put you on. Mm -hmm. Now you have this relationship with Ye, mm -hmm. and to put all that together in one record was amazing, man. To me, like I said, the only thing, in my opinion, that was missing was a Nas feature, man. Just even Nas on a hook or something. I, man. It would have been crazy I, to have Jay and Nas on an album that where they were <laughs> on the same record. So That's why I said yeah. like you get like a Nas or a, a Jada on here. Because yeah. especially when you're talking about some of these like coke drug reference, you gotta have LOX. You gotta you gotta bring like, it back. You gotta bring it back to the essence. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring it back to you the essence. You got to. Man. I would have even been okay with like a Conway the Machine or somebody like that mm -hmm. on one of these joints, man. Especially yeah. the way you going in, I'd have been cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But still, for me, great album. I love it. It's gonna be in my rotation heavy. For a while, I know we still got what one more joint left to, yeah, yeah. to cover. But now, this oh. one killed me because I didn't know Malice was on the joint. I just started playing the record. I'm like, that ain't push. That sound like Malice. And I went and back. Malice, I was like, oh shoot! And, I thought Malice was done rapping. You know what I'm saying? I, I think Malice, done. and I think Malice might have had the best verse. I think he did. <laughs> I think he might have. When he said, when he said remarry, uh, I think he said something about remarrying, uh, putting, putting ring the ring back on back. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold, so, hold on, hold on. Especially when he when talking about them Vietnam flashbacks. Like 
And then it just went into the bars, man. Still fighting demons, see that curse is now my gift. Secrets die with me, that's as deep as the abyss. That is no coincidence. When I was Ooh. in the mix, opened up your nose like I'm cutting it with Vicks. 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 Trying to milk a game with the ring back on a finger, marry it again. <laughs> Open up your nose like I'm cutting it with Vicks. This right here. If, no well, malice. My, go ahead, JK. No, no, I was just saying, no malice. Like, let's go. Well, well, that, that's what I was gonna say. Now, now, if you notice on the on the features, it's not titled or the name's not no malice, it's malice. It's back to malice. Right. Yeah, it's back to malice. Yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. oh, it's no malice. He was like, hold up. Yeah. He put malice on there. I wonder if that was a record label or he's actually going back to the essence. Well, and then couple that with what uh, Iceberg stated uh, and obviously played afterwards about the put the ring back on the finger, marry it again. Mm -hmm. I think this is kind of like his uh, yep. L Boogie moment on the King's Disease 2. You know what I'm yep. saying? Kind of like that Ooh, yeah. comeback. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a good yep. one. Drop a bomb you know for that. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, and they over stoves like I'm rubbing together sticks. <laughs> <laughs> like he's they, I mean, they they both did their thing on here. They and, did. Uh, it, but now, Malice killed say, this one, though. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> I said Malice cooked this one. I, th I oh, think you're right, Jake. Oh, I yeah. think he had the best verse. Yeah, I think yeah. he did, too. Now, I still get confused about who's who when I hear these two, man, because the tones to me sounds different. But I know... I know because of the God references and heaven and, you know, repent and all that. I, I'm like, okay, that's malice. Okay. But oftentimes I've always had trouble discerning which one was which. So, uh, <laughs> but on this one, it's like, okay, he, that, that brother's back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ma malice yeah. made this song, man. Like the beat, did. That, the, or, the, or the little church organ joints was crazy. Yeah. Then you I'm bring in malice you. talking about like, yeah. Both this had me the game, man. wanting like, that clips album like when i heard this joint i was like okay now i need a clips album i need like these yeah. two dudes and they prime yeah the like, sidestep into need, the duo the kings of the pyrex which like push man, said. So, mm -hmm. that's another indicator yep but who knows man who knows for, and for, if you under 35 go back and listen to that lord willing by the way on the clip oh one. yeah where they, where they basically in the, in the in the drop top with jesus in the back oh, of man. on the cover you know right great man <laughs> bars man but I, again malice made this joint man I, the beat was crazy um another kanye joint that he probably found in the in in, in the stash um I doubt this is a stash one. This sounds more like modern. It sounds day. new? To me, okay. it does. Do you think so? To me, it does. Because it's a little dark kind of bull? Dark, gothic, you know, yeah, okay, that okay. vibe. At least to me, it does. Classic game. No, nah, you're like, right. Like, dreaming you're of right. the No, nah, you know what? You know what? You're right. You know, you're right. Because right. it, yeah, it, no, it right. does have a dark yeah, vibe. Right. Like, the, well, the, I'm the just, horns. He may have went back to some stash. No, I know. Listen to what you say. You're 100% yeah. spot on. You're yeah, right. Now nah, you you broke it down, Crispy. You, oh, you, you sold no. me. <laughs> you sold me on this. Yeah, yeah, no, you sold me on that one. Yeah, in fact. Yeah. But I mean, the Mount yeah, Rushmore yeah. joint, man. Uh, just from chilling in a brick, dog. Like, what? Like, uh, uh, uh. I, 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 I mean, like, to me, my first yeah. thing was, it's King. Like when when I knew he was going to go back to the Coke joint. You know, is this going to be a reasonable doubt kind of vibe? You know, as far as the the record. So to me, reasonable doubt was almost like, you know, the dope dealer kind of in the game trying to get out the game. This album was like the dope dealer's like, "Hey man, I've done it. Who cares? The world is mine." Type joint. <laughs> you know, I'm going to bask in it with the whole joint and talking about let the crack fiends watch my whip. You know, more Scarface than it was more Scarface, man. Than anything, yeah. it wasn't uh, any remorse at all. Oh yeah, yeah. So, they let uh, the smokers shine. The coops though is 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 subliminal. <laughs> That's just um, bubbly. So right, right now, uh, well, as we're recording this joint, is this the hip hop album, of, rap album of the year? Now we got Kendrick <sighs> coming, we got Black Star coming, but right now we also is this the rap had. Album of the year? I also have not listened to that Black Star yet. So right. I don't I, think it's out I, yet. I, it ain't out yet. Okay, I thought it dropped this weekend. I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no, no. We on, on that, that on that streaming on that streaming site. Okay. No, I think it's in May. It's in May when it drops. 
May fifth. Because good. those those yeah. two songs that I heard on that Black Star though are so supreme. Oh, you heard two? Okay, all right. I know. Now I will say though that this is up there for me so far this year. So we can say up to this point, it's a possibility. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say Black Star comes out May third. Black, uh, y- yep, and we got Black Thought plus we got Kendrick. We right, already yep. said on the last fresh shout that we felt Kendrick was going to drop a classic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but this raises even... the this, but this does raise the bar though. Like, like let's be clear. Like this, this this album raises the bar because this is hip hop. To for me, this this is hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Uh, it's possibility though, Bebo. I mean, if if Kendrick don't bring it, or if Black Star just falls on his face and just ain't good, which I doubt it. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying I doubt it. I doubt it on both. Yeah, I'm I, sure. I, def- I definitely think uh, this is. I'm sure Kendrick best. heard this. I'm sure he heard. This oh, album. I'm sure they all all the cats heard this in the yeah. game, and you know who who, who delivers. Um, you know who delivers verses and raps and so forth for the most part and if they haven't mm-hmm. they sure will um this is a good question though is it better than the earth game as far as the be- best uh, rap album? i can't necessarily say Los, that yeah, Los, that's, Los a good made a good Los, point. that's a good point that earth game is flame like you know what los this makes me go back and run the earth game back it does i haven't listened i haven't uh. listened to earth gang in about three weeks mm-hmm I need to go back and run that Earth game back, but that Earth game uh, is a bona fide. It is. It's 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 official tissue. Like I might Earth have to game, agree with Los. Yeah, that, that yeah. Earth game. Now is this thing, official there's official moments tissue. where I want to hear the Earth game, but then there's other times I need to hear this push. Exactly, you know but that you made a great point. You made a great point. That run of jewels. Uh, yep. Like yeah, that the, 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 the RT five. That RT five. Yep, what was that drop though? Later on, I don't on know if there's year, a day. I believe. I, I know. Believe. I know. Killer Mike just announced it not long I th- ago. I thought LP said uh, later on this year it's supposed to drop. It's supposed to sometime but. this year. I don't think there's a date on it yet. Uh, I don't know if there is rather, but yeah, I, I totally agree with J Camp. Um, uh, this is a a so far joint, but then when Low hit us with the Earth Gang, Jay I said, making a good I point. I forgot about it. I forgot Jay, about Jay, Earth Jay need to A and R some records, man. Over man, here, man. Jay, he you, killing you, the game. You, I, you need to A and R some joints, man. Yeah, I can definitely yeah, see that, Lauren. Yeah. Uh, uh, we all agree, Lauren yeah. and Nas could could definitely cook. Oh, it's almost like you almost need to put some nostalgic players on this record, man, or on some remixes because it's a vintage sound. It's vintage I sound, think, man. So, so what what do y'all give this album overall? I said four is what I said. Okay. You know, Iceberg. I might change my mind after another listen. Hey, man, my name is Iceberg Slim. You know, I got to give it a five, man. Come on, man. <laughs> so this is a classic to you? Dude, it's a classic. Okay. All right. Well, All right. Thing, and, and I want to I basically understand it's a new classic. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, okay. To me, you know, with the landscape that hip hop and rap has become, it's a, it, and then the other thing, man, is who else can make an album like this? When I look at classic, I don't say, oh, it doesn't match up to Biggie and Nas. And my thing is, who else can make this? You know what I'm saying? To me, like, I think that Earth Gang is classic. You know what I'm saying? Because who else going to make it? Who else going to make a like a record like that? The way Earth they Gang rolled it hell, out and everything. hell of an album, bro. Dude, it it's classic, album. man. Like, you have it's to respect. You have to put respect on Earth Gang's name. Yeah. For real. So that, to me, uh, it's like, hey man, yeah. this album right here was Pussy T's. It was his. This is his muse, in my opinion, man. And like, I'll be honest, everything uh, kind of built built up his name, but this is him sitting in a penthouse, man, overlooking the game. You know, what and I'll be like, honest too, Iceberg, because I feel like Daytona was a hell of an album too. Yeah, and to follow up Daytona with this, you gotta you gotta tip your cap to that, man. You gotta take this thing. Not only look at it from a standpoint and not only push for real, let you know, hey man, don't forget, don't think just because I'm rocking the little bell bottoms and all that, I can't get back in the booth in the lab and get serious. And also, to me, this is Vince Yay kind of showed that hey man, 
uh i'm not just dropping a little silly wreck like jay like kanye did his thing on here man he did he did his thing on here and i and like i think jay camp said i think it's more push directing the album more than yay and pharrell oh, yeah. he just basically this, pulled certain things from them this but is to creative me, who control. else can make an album like this and this is why to me it's classic yeah this is creative control from push where he owned this yes you know what i'm saying fact and i'm i feel i'm like los that that scrape it off just didn't do it for me that like that that took a mic away from me man and i don't want to do that because push <laughs> shine on the whole album i hate yeah. to take a mic away but i got to it's kind of, if i'm being fair you know what i'm saying if i'm being fair that scrape it off didn't do it like that's the one joint you know what i'm saying I, and i it, it's buried in the second half for a reason mm-hmm. you're not gonna put scrape it off first if scrape it off was first we wouldn't even listen to it like oh, i'm good I, I think I think when they looked at the the entire album, they said, "Hey man, we need to have something that got a little bop to it." That's got that's the bop record, and I get it, I get it, and that's I feel like I have record. to, and I have to judge this because I hold Pusha up here, Fact. you know what I'm saying, as an MC. So I'm judging this as Pusha being a dope MC, and then when I hear Scrape It Off, I'm like, "This ain't what I asked for, my guy." Now somebody else might love it, and my man, Scrape It Off is the hardest joint on there. Somebody <laughs> else could. But not for me. Bebo. He thinks it's the hardest ring. Uh, but yeah, for so what, what you what's the, what's the end result, Bebo man? As I listen to the, it's almost dry. I give it a four out of five. Mm. I I mm. don't think it's a five out of five album. Not even for today. Um, Ooh, okay. I do like what's that? Okay, keep going. No, keep going. No, I I do think that there was, you know, maybe a miss here, miss there. Uh, but nothing to really i think there are just more like nitpicks um i don't doing. think it was too far <laughs> off from daytona to be frank with you as far as the quality um mm-hmm. i i just think it was uh i think push even said this in an interview i think he said this album was just a, a different design and um you could tell i, that I can see that too i can see that yeah and you could tell that as you indicated uh iceberg with the infusion of uh pharrell or rather the neptunes so um you know it kind of gave folks that classic for you know that or rather that vintage sound that you're accustomed to hearing push with you still got to hear him with yay um i i I gotta say this too um i personally cannot think of a five mic album that has significantly included the neptunes i'm not saying that as a diss I just haven't heard it I know Damn, that there's been some critically acclaimed there's Bebo, been some critically acclaimed work drop a bomb the, the gauge the, the double but there's the double yeah now, there's been some critically acclaimed like you said that that Lord willing critically acclaimed I can't give it a classic but it's you not a but you preaching though Bebo you I can't, no, no, you speak of facts you speak of facts yeah you speak has. facts no? yeah so and, and I think now, but I also get, get why Iceberg said it's five. I get, I get right. why Iceberg said it's five. I do five, too. I, I, and I, I highly respect that. Um, and the flip side of that po- or that that coin is the fact that, again, this is the best that I've heard the Neptunes in a while. But Nothing I think it's because of what Jay Camp said. I think it wasn't Pharrell and Ye leading it. It was more push crafting it differently. You know what I'm saying? Well, we gotta make, you can only do that. You can't do that with a budget. You have to be friends with these dudes to get these kind of records. You know what I'm saying? You do. Yeah. You do. You're, you're not gonna pay five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars for a, a sample, and you just rapping on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. Right. So, oh yeah. But no. So hey, so uh, so in four, in it all, what's your number on this one? Four out of five. Okay, four out of five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Real, Which I is mean, still for, great. Still, still a great album. Still yeah. Great. No facts. Yeah. No facts. No facts. Yeah. I agree um, with that too, Los. I agree with yeah, that. I do too. I, I, it it yeah. was better than Daytona, and Daytona was a was a very good album, and this was better I, than I, Daytona. Yeah, it was. It was, and it show, it showed his growth. You know but what the other thing too, yeah. man, is if it you understand Push, he wasn't angry. This is not an angry album. This isn't. I mean, he's always going to say, "Hey, right. I'm better than everybody else." It's, it's always he's in a groove. Be, I, I'm, yeah, but he was in a groove, and I think honestly, it's because of where he's at in his life, getting yeah. married, having the having his son. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and, and basically just seeing the, the me, me and me and uh, Bieber always talk about this man. We like I need mature age hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I, I don't want to listen to club records, man. I'm not no club. I'm not bank. You know, I'm not doing all that. But age appropriate, I, I think is what I, you're age appropriate hip hop. We all exactly. in the same boat, bro. Like yeah. I, I, I can't. 
you know, he's making music that he knows that he can make, which is age appropriate. Now, I will say this, though. Uh, in addition to Nas, I would have liked to have heard like Ray because you talk about Ooh. the king of you talking about the king of dope rap. Ghost, I mean, too. Right. Yeah. And Ghost. And, I can and hear Ghost like, I, I can, like I'm like Jay Kim. I can hear a lot of remixes, Doc. Yeah, to me, I mean, there's about five songs on this album that can be remixed that we can add some of these. Yeah. Uh, we can yeah. be like Jay and A&R, like Jay was doing. Man, we can A&R this. You know what I'm saying? Add Lauren, add L Boogie, add Ho. I mean, mm-hmm. not Ho. Add Nas, add Jada. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, like I mean, there's a, the, 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 because the album is so, such like almost like that Lauryn Hill live joint where it's just like a guitar and she's going ham. There's so much there's so much stuff you can do with this album. Man. It's almost like when they did a black album and they came with a, with a gray album, a green album, a brown album. Yeah, it's so much. Stuff. You're going to see a lot of people remixing a lot of this stuff, too. So I, I, I will say this, too. Um, I, I again, I and shout out to Los because I sure did forget about the Earth Gang. Uh, yep, facts. But, uh, yeah. Because I think it is just offhand without going back to it yet. I think it might be neck and neck, like Lowe said. Yeah, I mean, dude, that I Earth Game see... was crazy, bro. If oh, you yeah. haven't heard the Earth Game, this is why you can fresh out. Listen Please to that Earth Game album, it'll change your life. And they young dude. East Point, you East Point saying? cats. Yeah. <laughs> they young dude. If if you like if you like outcast, these cats are like the 2022 version. Of cast, yeah, they definitely get their influence from cast. Yeah, yeah, you can tell by listening to the, their influence by that. And and I would say that album's a cla- a new age classic. You it, know is. What I'm saying? it is. It uh, is. I, I cannot just like deny I'm saying, it. this is a new age classic. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's almost refreshing because if you listen, if you if you get into the BMW with me, we gonna <laughs> listen to some old records, man. You, we're not gonna listen to really a lot of new stuff per se. Right. So. Because I need the nostalgia, but to me, yeah. getting the nostalgia off these new artists, uh, our classic artists, man, with new music, we the game needs it, man. You know, the game it needs does. it. It you know does, and Ye's not back yet, brother. Uh, just from what you had, I think you had said something about the iceberg, like Ye kind of being back production wise. <laughs> he ain't fully back yet. What yeah, I don't know. Had, I, this thing, B-Bow he's B-Bow never, pull, he's pull never gonna be the out. old Kanye. <laughs> he, he ain't never gonna be the old Kanye, but to me. He ain't gotta be first album. Um, he can nah. be at least beautiful, dark. Oh, on on yes. his, he's not even gonna go yeah. there. I, I think, honestly, man, like uh, you're gonna get that uh, Heath Ledger Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like, so to me, even to get that record with the sample on it and all this stuff, man, it is a flash of a, uh, it was maybe a little, little old joint, but you're not gonna see. Was. Yeah, he's not gonna rap on that no more. Well, I, who, I'm, I think it's a who knows situation or whatever. But I think it's just gonna take time for him to get to see if he's gonna come back to or remain consistent along these lines. From what hey he man, did when Future is uh, Zeke producing your album, I don't think you're going back to anything you used to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. But either or, long story short, before we get out of here, man, we 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 over on the time, but. What's your last thoughts, man? Before we get out of here, any shout outs, man? Any anything like that, man? Uh before we get out of here. Yeah, definitely, man. Shout out to the folks that was rocking with us, man. Definitely shout out to Low Nightmare. We yes, always sir. dropping dropping gems on the music. You know what I'm saying? Y'all oh. part of the group chat too. And we talking about who's hot, who's not, who's gonna come out mm-hmm. with the illest. Mm-hmm. Man, shout out. Cause y'all cause y'all influence a lot of this too. Uh, and this is what hip hop is about, man, is ha- is this having this community about, like that man. we building. Hip, that's exactly what it's about, man. You know, again, shout out to Hip Hop VCR doing this thing. Um, you know, shout out to you brothers for continuing to add what you add, that flavor, that season, mama's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To this here hip hop yeah. conversation that we having, man. I just appreciate you brothers and appreciate the good convo and love doing what we doing. And most importantly, shout out to Pusha, man. You, you gave us some heat. We needed it. I'm going to be jamming this for a while. It's like at the perfect time, right when spring is in, is in full action. You know what I'm saying? This is drug rap, but it's summer dress rap <laughs> all at the same time. I appreciate you, brother. Thanks, man. I mean, I, I totally concur. Uh, you know, shout out to Pusha T for this one, man. A hey, salute to you, brother. Uh, like you also said, Jay Camp, salute to the squad, you know, Nightmare, Los, you know, shout out and pretty much appreciations to the uh, contribution as always, always to the platform always. and the situation and uh, peace to the rest of the brothers uh, 
from the coalition squad as well absolutely um, in addition to freddie you know freddie g you know they're freddie down there g, shooting yep. the video and whatnot okay. and getting okay, it wait to, okay. can't wait if y'all haven't it. yet get that fed up let's go get that fed up get that fed up uh my store my shirt. fed up ent yep yep fed freddie, up ent.com uh yeah uh shout out to coalition shout out to freddie g shout out to uh you brothers shout out to l the pod father mm-hmm. and uh shout out to you all as well whose names we don't know but we definitely have much appreciation for your contributions go ahead and once again hit that like button subscribe button and that notification bell and um we will catch y'all next or this coming wednesday rather next so time, until then yeah. cop that push it's almost dry might be dry by now. <laughs> right. be. It's definitely dry. Right. It's ready to go right now. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we sucked up out of the mo- all the moisture is gone out of that. Oh, yeah, it's a- hey, peace to a bill. Oh. <laughs> but uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Iceberg, take us home, brother. And hey, that's it, man. Like, again, man, shout out to you, you gentlemen, man. Jay Kent, Bebo P, LB the Pop mm-hmm. Father, the family know how we get down, man. Uh, merch is com- pause, coming. Like I said, man, we got some cool little merch, man. The numbers are crazy. Again, thank you guys for rocking with us, man. Like, Peace this is the second, too. third thing we're doing. So we we just appreciate the love, man. Like, I've been looking at the numbers, and the numbers is matching up with some of the stuff Charlemagne's cats are doing. So we appreciate the number the numbers y'all doing and rocking with us, man. And, and it, it just it's a testimony to Jay Kemp, LB the Pie Father, Bebo P, just putting that work in, man, and giving y'all the dopest content, man, in hip-hop, in my opinion. So... Again, shout out to you, gentlemen, all the uh, subs, man. We appreciate it, man. We hitting the numbers the way we need to. Again, we'll see y'all Wednesday, man, and we out, right? Peace. Absolutely. Peace, man. It's dry.